Hey guys, this is Joel here from joelwebsites.com. In today's video, I'm going to prove to you how easy it is to integrate payment gateways with your website. So integrating payment gateways with your website is a really simple concept, but many people think that it is a very difficult concept. So in this video, I'll give you a very short and sweet graphical explanation. I'm just going to draw a small diagram in the on the piece of papers which will make you understand how what code is written where and i hope it will be useful for you in uh, when you integrate a payment gateway with a website if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and don't feel forget to leave a comment of appreciation in the comments below so let's get started basically what happens is that you have to just redirect the customer to the payment gateway website along with the variables okay so you'll be redirecting the customer to the web payment gateway website using the variables the variable variables will have uh, information like the amount some information about the customer his first name his last name his email address and so on and it will also it might also contain the order details of what order has been placed it will also contain other details like the transaction id and so on so then based on the payment success failure success or failure you will be redirected him back to the you will have to redirect him back to the website so now how do you start first of all you will have to try to contact them secondly is that you will ask need to ask them how the redirection works so they will have to provide you with sample code okay without the sample code it won't be possible so it's important for you to have the sample code along with you and then later on you'll have to ask the person who you are integrating the or uh, payment gateway for you have to uh, enter in the the merchant id and so on so so you'll have to ensure that the payment gateway details are provided by the person make sure you have all the details so this is the most important steps in creating the payment gateway module so so far i was showing you just the planning part where you have to plan about the code what code will be written where i will now show you how a sample php uh, file looks i mean a sample php redirection code and i will also show you steps on how which will help you to debug if you encounter any issues uh, if you encounter any issues while creating the payment gateway so basically you will have to send the payment gateway people a uh, email saying that you are unable to integrate it i'll just show you the screenshots of how i had uh, contacted the payment gateway i'm still contacting them you have to the uh, thing is that you have to just keep uh, you have to just be behind them and they will help you contact uh, create the payment gateway successfully um, it is a somewhat easy process but you will have to have some patience uh, overall it is a easy process but you will have to have patience so in this way you will successfully create the module i will later on the remaining thing is that you will need to know about the success and the failure pages i will give an explanation about that too in this video so stay tuned guys and keep watching so now this is the sample code for the redirection this is your payment sample code so if you are using another payment gateway it will be different for you so i'm just uh, i'll just walk you through the code how simple it is i'll make you understand see basically what happens is that you have to enter in the, your own values using your application now suppose there is an amount you will have to in, uh, put the amount variable here uh, so similarly you will have to put the other details as well okay so gradually you will have to enter in all the details but here uh, you will have to enter the merchant id and so also in this case they are asking for the payment account the folder number this is the executed sample code i am not showing you the url for because this is a code that i have used for my client 
I don't want to show you his domain name. Okay, so basically, if you run the sample code, it will show you uh, it will show you this type of form. You have to click the pay button, and then you will be re redirected to the payment gateway web website. So this sample code should be provided to you by the payment gateway people. So I'm clicking on pay now. So now you see that I'm getting this error. So in case you encounter this type of errors, you will have to contact your you will have to contact the payment gateway people about this error and they will help you resolve this error. So this is the type of email that you will need to send to your the payment gateway people. Please make sure you enter in a good subject. Also, see that uh, you follow up with the payment gateway people on time because sometimes they take a long time to reply. It depends on the payment gateway. Some people reply very quickly and some they don't require reply very quickly so now I'll tell you about the success page the success page will be located in your own website okay so when the payment uh, when a user completes making a payment he will be redirected to this, to this success page again the success page uh, you will need to Mention the success URL in the parameters. It is one of the parameters that you will be, I mean, the one of the variables that you will be sending to the payment gateway. So this is again my sample code. Over oh, here you will see that here you will have to set the success URL. So I'm just typing in. Basically, you have to just type in your success URL over here in this section and in this, this is basically the about URL, it means a failure URL. So what will these two things do? The success page will redirect you to the customer to the, to the website, but over here it will, it is going to save the details for the order in the database. Okay, so what I would suggest you is to use query strings in this case to um, to know what values have to be saved in case. I'm just giving you a very quick and small example in the success URL. You might add this type of variables to your URL. So if your URL is www.mywebsite dot com then you can add in some query strings like this so in this manner you can add variables these are called query strings you can check about query strings on w3 schools and on other websites uh, it will be really helpful so basically it will allow your application to this will help you get the values more easily. You, you can pass some values to this. And now I will be talking. Uh, the main purpose of the success page is that uh, it will save that the order was successful in your PH in your PHP My Admin database. It depends now whatever database you're using. You need to. It's basically you'll have to create a system where you'll save these details. So now I'll talk about the failure. Similarly, you will have to use the same thing. You can either use success is equal to 0 or you can use failure is equal to 1. It's as per your wish. You can use any variable of your choice. I'm just giving you examples. You can use anything you want in your code. Uh, ju I'm just making using some examples so that it's easier for you to understand. So in this, 
in the failure page it will basically save that the order was a failure so guys if you thought that the video was helpful to you in some way uh, or the other you can give me a thumbs up for this video or else you can comment down in the comment section why what was wrong in the video or you can even post uh, what you you would like me to explain in more detail in the comment section you can even comment your doubt or anything so in case you comment a doubt somebody else can help you out in case they see the the comment before me so it's not that just i can reply you but the whole world is that to reply to your comments so i hope you enjoyed watching this video so thanks for watching this video guys i it was real fun creating this video um please subscribe to my channel to get more updates from my channel stay tuned guys and take care love you